way! Oh my god. You let him get away with Peru? <laughs> yeah, how did he get away with Peru? Pedro-father, Pedro-father. Pedro are different. It's spelled in it, it's P-E-R. Yeah, yeah, see, see? Shout out, father, thank you. I got to film a super cool and super secret project for Genshin Impact in LA. This is my first time doing anything like this, and honestly, it was one of the most fun things I've ever done for Genshin. I flew from the East Coast to LA, and I had just come back from a family wedding, so I had a night to style the cosplay wig. I've been wanting to work on cosplays for the longest time, and this was the first time I'd ever done wig styling, okay? I tried my hardest not to make it look scuffed. As you may have guessed, I got to play our favorite Melazine nurse, Siegeween. Siege... Min? And I had the pleasure of torturing some of your favorite content creators by feeding them potentially nasty flavored jelly beans. But wait, what is this whole thing even about? So, the story of this skit was written by Jake, aka Toronto. He did a great job and honestly, his vision made the whole thing super fun. If you want to watch the full video, please click the link up top or in the description below or the pinned comment. Just very occasionally, I'd chip in as your leafy lore advisor Minzliff who suggests Genshin lore accurate lines so that you don't have to. In the story, Jake's friends have been treating him not so kindly, so Arlequino decides to protect her son and vows vengeance on his friends. And so, some of your favorite Hoyo creators isekai into the world of Genshin and turn into the Genshin characters themselves. Antony as Furina, Brax as Nuvelette, Nick as Wander, and Atsu as Tartalia. And honestly, all their hair and makeup popped off. Special mention to Stella Chu as Arlequino cause she honestly slayed her role as the beloved father. I'm telling you, I got chills when she did her voice impressions. And Kay as the most beautiful Clorand I've ever seen. And of course, the star of the show, Jake as Jake. With a special cameo from Siegemin. So, back to the story. Alekina punishes Jake's friends for mistreating him by feeding them potentially nasty flavored jelly beans made by yours truly, Siegemin. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh. Hey, I, gotta, I gotta go, I got like an appointment. Let's begin. Just as an FYI, in the lore, Siegemin is a melusine, so her perception of sight and taste might vastly differ from humans. Therefore, whenever she tries to do anything sweet for people, like in the Fontaine Archon class, they sometimes get scared of it. Poor Seedreen, man. These outlanders isekai into a vat and she just wants to treat them. Or torture them. <laughs> Asu's reaction to the jelly bean feeding was one of my favorite parts of the skit. I have disgusting. a wife! It's not bad. The game is simple. Each of Jake's friends have to answer a question about him or about the mechanics of Genshin Impact. Whoever answers correctly avoids punishment, and everyone else has to eat a cursed jelly bean. Evil, I know, but not necessarily il dore evil, perhaps? This was also actually one of my favorite parts of the entire skit, and I don't know if you could tell, but in the background, I was actually trying not to laugh the entire time. I had to stay in character, okay? I was committed. Siegemin would not have laughed at it. What is Arlequino's real name? Me! Per, per, per. Yeah. Do I have to pronounce it correctly? <laughs> well, yeah, how else am I gonna know if you said it right? Peru. <laughs> Yo, it's not Peru. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's like part of- wait, say it. Alright, well, one more chance. Pereira. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was correct. In the end, Siegemin and Clorand feel bad for the Outlanders and set them free before Arlequino and Jake return. The end. Or is it? I'm super thankful to Hoyoverse for getting to be a part of this experience. It was super fun and I got to work with some of my favorite Hoyo creators. And I also got to work with an amazing studio as well as new cosplay friends. After that, I ordered some rosé topoki for dinner, and the flight back home was super easy. I had the entire row to myself, luckily, which means I got to lie down completely. First class seat for economy price. Thank you so much again, Hoyaverse, for this wonderful opportunity. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. I'm your leafy lore, Sharon Minsliff, and I read the Genshin Impact lore so that you don't have to.